Hello, let's try to understand linear and quadratic systems. When we talk about systems, that means we have more than one equation. Here, linear and quadratic system means we have a linear equation and a quadratic equation. Now, <clears throat> when there is a system equation, this can be solved graphically or algebraically. When we solve graphically, we do get an answer, but that may not be very accurate. Algebraic solutions will give you accurate answers. Okay, now here let's go through the problem and then see how to solve such a system. Hunter is shooting a duck. The height of the duck is modeled by the function h of t equals to minus 5t square plus 30t plus 6, where h of t is the height in meters t seconds after the bullet is released. The path of the hunter's bullet is modeled by the function gt equals to 40t plus 1 with the same units. How long will the bullet take to hit the duck? So that's the kind of problem. So we can visualize it first, okay? Think like this. This is our axis and uh, we know that we are in the first quadrant because both time and height are positive, okay? <clears throat> now, let me first draw this function ht, height of the duck. So let's say duck takes off from here and follows a parabolic path and then maybe which is shown by this and this is like of our h of t let me write h of t right and now let me draw and the graph for the bullet the bullet follows 40 t plus 1 so this was 6 right and say 1 is here kind of right and 40 is a very steep curve right so it will go like shoot like this right that's the bullet right we say g of t okay now what is happening is we are interested in this point where the bullet hits the duck right so let's see how to find this point from the given equation so as you can see from here at this particular point h of t is equal to g of t right both are same correct now here, you know, you can write this as time in seconds, right? So we get time in seconds. And uh, this is height, whether it's this function or that function, but height in meters, correct? So this, that's what they mean by same units. And here we know this should be 1 and this should be 6, correct? This kind of a graph, right? <clears throat> now, to determine this point, we can equate h of t equals to g of t. So basically, we want to say that h of t equals to g of t when the bullet hits the duck, right? Now, what is h of t? h of t is minus 5t square. So we'll minus 5t square plus 30t plus 6 is equals to g of t is 40t plus one correct now to solve this we have to bring all in one side and then solve for t uh, how long will the bullet take to hit the duck so solve for t right the units are seconds now what we can do is we bring all this here and let me have zero here so zero equals when we bring on that side signs will change so this becomes plus 5t square minus 30t minus 6 and then this is plus 40t plus 1, correct? Now, we will combine the like terms. Like terms here are 5t square and 30 and uh, this minus plus 10t. And this is minus 5, right? Minus 5. Well, we can factor out 5 from here. So 5 and we get t square plus 2t minus 1, correct? Now here, can we do product and sub and factor this? That would be very easy. Product should be minus 1. That means one number is plus, one number is negative. Well, and sum is 2. Well, it doesn't really work. If this would have been plus 1, I could have used 1 times 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. But here, it doesn't really work. So what to do now? We have no other way but to use quadratic formula, right? So let's say use quadratic formula. So we say t equals to minus b so minus b is minus 2 plus and minus b square with the square root b square is 4 
minus 4 times AC. 4 times this and minus and minus becomes plus, right? So plus 4 over 2 times A, right? 2 times A, A is 1 here, right? Two. That's what we get. Now we can simplify this and we get minus 2 plus and minus square root of 8, right? 8 is 2 times 4, correct? Now, in the radical, 4 is a perfect square, so we can take that out as 2. So, I'm not doing so many calculations here. By now, you are an expert. So, we get 2 square root 2 divided by 2, correct? That leaves us with t equals 2. Minus 2, minus 2, which, well, that is a negative term. t is positive for us. So, we will not include that term. So, we'll include the positive term, okay? Because time cannot be negative for us, it is positive. So we have minus 2 plus 2 square root 2. This is the valid answer, divided by 2. And when I divide by 2, I get what? Here it is minus 2. We can take 2 common. Uh, well, we can divide. Minus 1 plus square root 2. Is it okay? Now, square root 2 is 1.414. You know that, right? Now, so minus 1 plus, or let me write, minus 1 plus 1.414, which is square root 2, right? So that gives us time of 0 0.414. So let me write 0 0.4 seconds approximately. Does it make sense? I think it does. A very short time, right? So the time when it hits will be 0 0.4 seconds on our graph, correct? That's the kind of solution and you saw how we did it, right? So now we can write that the bullet, so answer should always be written in words. So we say answer is, how long will the bullet take to hit the duck? Bullet will take, zero point five four seconds to hit the duck. Correct. So there will be many problems like this, but you know, strategy is same. So follow the strategy, equate one function equals to that function and find the point where they intersect. That's how it is. Okay. Don't forget to show all your calculations and write your answer in words. Okay. Thank you.